What is I, I believe in love at first sight. It's energy with me. I believe in love at first sight. It's, it's energy, and I operate out of the spirit of love. Now, everything I do out of love, even if you play, I'm gonna just love you to death. But it's, it's all love with me. Absolutely. I'm not perfect. None of us are. I'm going to make mistakes. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make a bunch of new mistakes that I never made before. But I'm going to live in my truth. No. And when you live in your truth, you make all of the wrong people uncomfortable. I believe communication is what keeps a marriage together. Communication, love, trust, honor, respect. Like, you respecting your partner. And, see, when you look at somebody like, hey, this is my, this is my friend. It's the loyalty and things of that nature. But I also say this. You got to be loyal to yourself first also. Either you grow together or you grow apart. That's it. Once you stop growing together, it's over with. I don't think it can ever be rekindled because y'all on two different journeys. Now, it may come back around at the end, but a lot of people suffer in silence, especially yes. men. Especially men. I done seen a lot of men suffer in silence. Trying to emit this type of emotion, but man, this shit hurt. Now I feel you. This hurt. I feel you. I'll destroy it on the inside, man. Her. Like, so of course I get emotional mm -hmm. just thinking about it. Like, trusting people is scary. Mm -hmm. It's scary. That's what motivated me to put in the work. I have to be the message that I bring. I can't listen to somebody and empower me if they're not empowering themselves. Mm -hmm. I empower myself. That's how I'm able to empower others. I talk about love. You know, love the worst drug they got out right now. Mm -hmm. The word love is a misspelled word for unemployed emotion. You got to show me you love me. You can't tell me. Hmm. You got to show me. I kind of. You, you're not honoring the commitments that you made to yourself. So how you going to honor the commitments that you're supposed to make to the universe and everybody else? Mm -hmm. you, know, you have to honor the commitments you make to yourself so you can respect yourself. Right. Discipline equals self-respect. Self-respect equals self-restraint. Right. No, I love you enough to let you go. Go find that person that you say that's better than me. Can't wait. Did that hurt? Everything hurt when you love somebody. Mm -hmm. I love for real. Mm -hmm. But like, nah, I can't wait to get my heart broke. I just use it for motivation. This <laughs> shit turned me into a monster. Look at me. I, that's the fuel to, to this. Mm -hmm. Whenever I have a negative thought, I'd be like, it can't possibly go this way. And then I think about all the good things and the good ways it's going to go. I don't even prepare myself with, you know, I just hope for the, expect the worst, but hope for the best. I don't do that. I hope for the best and I expect the best. If some bad shit happened, hey, it was a test. We got past that shit, got that shit out the way. Keep, it moving. Keep moving forward, baby. The same thing, but I had to sit with myself and learn to love the stranger that was once myself. Because coming up in a poverty stricken environment, the girl that I wanted, she didn't want me. Mm. She wanted the dude that was getting the money. So as a child, I emulated everything I saw. I wanted, all I ever wanted was some money, a car, a girlfriend, and a Because mm. that seemed like success for me. That was my perspective of success. And the woman that's my same age ain't noticed me. But once I started getting some money, she noticed me. So now, this then taught me that external things add value, but external things don't add value. 